Hey, it's Mr. Bass, and I'm still unboxing my moving boxes. And uh, let me see which one I got up here. Why don't we do... I got no idea what's in this, but... This one says basement top water. Top water, top water, top water. Let's see what I got in here. Must be some spooks and stuff, I would assume. Crack up my knife here. And we'll get to it. So if you've been watching these unboxing videos, you know that if it says top water, it's probably mostly top water. But there'll be some other stuff mixed in usually. That's because I'm pulling, you know, I had tons of these walls of baits. And, uh, you know, I'm pulling them all down and packing them in boxes. And, you know, they're not trying to keep them all perfectly separated is a little tough. But I do think most of these are, are going to be top water. So... Shouldn't be too far off. Starting off, this is a buzz bait that uh, I got introduced to. It came in one of my Monster Bass boxes back in the day when I was subscribing to Monster Bass. I don't subscribe to that anymore. But this Booyah Squelcher came in the box. And this is a bigger buzz bait than I normally would use. It has a really big blade, but it's super noisy. And I was amazed at how many fish I caught on this thing. So I went nuts and I bought a bunch of them. So I definitely like a buzz bait with a black skirt. This has a little black and red, which I'm also fine with. I got several of that black and red color. There's a couple of more black and red. A bunch of chartreuse. They call this color citrus shad. It's got some white. And chartreuse in there. When I want a really big buzz bait, I go with that squelcher. My everyday buzz bait, uh, I've thrown this Cavatron for years. Um, it's it's a very, very good buzz bait. Lee Bailey Jr.'s Cavatron as seen on TV fishing with Roland Martin. It's a great buzz bait, and I got a bunch of them. I may not have a bunch of them in this box, I don't know. But I do have a bunch of them, and Cavatron, try it out if you've never tried it. All right, this is a little more compact bait. It's actually big and bulky, but it's much shorter this distance, you know. It's a compact um, hook body style. But this blade does really clack really well off of this flat-shaped head. And this flat-shaped head skips well. That's why I like this grinder buzz bait by Strike zone lures and this is uh called coleslaw you guys that know the coleslaw color that looks pretty pretty typical and then if i want to go really subtle compact as in more compact than that that strike zone lure this is my very favorite lure the boogerman bait company uh buzz bait is just it's a thing of beauty. I love this little guy. And you can kind of see it's not big, you know, compared to compared to the Cavatron. You can see it's a lot smaller. But these Booger Man buzz baits, man, they catch fish. I got a bunch of those. Okay, I got a few more miscellaneous buzz baits. These are not ones that I would say I throw a lot. Uh, this one here is another one, though. I know I got this one because it has a really big flat skipping head and uh, has a big honking blade, the Persuader. This one came in one of my mystery tackle boxes. Guggen, they call it the Hummer, it's fine, nothing wrong with that. And then War Eagle also makes some decent, more compact buzz baits. This one is white. This has like a holographic sticker on there. And I don't know if that's designed to give you a little more flash or what. I don't really know what that's for, but it's on there. Okay, here's a V&M Baits Buzz Frog. It's the only one I own. And you can see I've never thrown it. <laughs> but I do like putting frogs on my buzz baits. My favorite, uh, I used to just do a lot of these frogs. And I still do. But I've since got, gone to the goat. The Z-Man goat is kind of my favorite buzzbait trailer. But uh, I bought this for some reason. I've never thrown it. There's another Guggen Hummer. 
Okay, you can never go wrong with a suicide duck. Duck lures are topwater baits that will definitely work. And all kinds of fish will attack a duck. Uh, this savage suicide duck is pretty lifelike. This is a little bigger one. Here's a couple of smaller ones. Same thing. That's your black suicide duck. And your little, really I would call this wider bone because this is what the fish sees, which is almost totally white. If you're not into ducks, you might like a rat. The little Spro BBZ1 rat. This is the 40 size. I don't know if that means 40 millimeters or what, but it comes with a spare tail. These are pretty good little bait, wake baits. Speaking of wake baits, here's a couple of six cent speed wakes, the 100 size. This color is called Bone Reactor. This is a great bluegill color. They call it bluegilla. Six cents does great paint jobs. There's another speed wake. 100. This color is called Live Mullet. And I got all these in my six cent super six sacks. Here's another one called 4K Gizzard. Pretty. It's got some flash. Here's Baitman's Jaint Juice. It's got purple and chartreuse with a white belly. All right, now the plopper style baits, the Chapo 120. This is a nice, it's called MF Bluegill. Make sure it's focusing on the bait and not me. That's another one, same color. The smaller one, the Chapo 90. This is called Ghost White. It's translucent. And then we got a few Whopper Ploppers. This is where those all started, man. The Larry Dahlberg Whopper Plopper. This is bone, and this is size 130, and this is kind of the size that I think they started with this size. Maybe it wasn't, but this kind of just seems like the size I have the most of. Here's another same size. This is called Know It. Which is more like a sexy shad, really. I know it, not know it. And then they came out, you know, the little dinky ones. This is the 60 size, and I've never had a ton of luck with this. I think this would be much better for, like, ponds and that kind of thing, but haven't thrown it much. This is the bone color. All right, and then this is the size in between those, the 110 size. So I've shown you the 130, the 60, and the 90. This is the 110 size. This is their white color, which they call powder. And then here's a couple of powders in the 90 size. Okay, here's a unique bait, the Mega Bass Batra X. And this has a big, massive plastic cup on it, kind of like a jitterbug. It's a lot bigger, bigger though. And then it has this tail on it kind of like a teckle frog and then it's got frog hook on it it's five eighths of an ounce and this color is called glx silver speaking of the teckle frog uh this is actually called the sprinker frog by teckle and it has a big blade on the back kind of it's a soft plastic that chugs in the water and they give you a spare one and it's like a soft bodied frog with a chugging tail on the back i've got quite a few of these i believe we'll see what other ones i have here in the box this is called black and blue this is a cool lure by jackal it's called the pompadour and this color is called bone white again another very interesting kind of wake style topwater bait and you can see on the picture kind of how the fins open up and gives you some very unique action and noise in the water here's another one of those this color is black bone 
they've changed the packaging. This one, of course, is a lot easier to see in this packaging. Another Teckle Sprinker Frog. This is the bone color. One of my favorites. Here's another Whopper Plopper 90. And this color is their black that they call Loon. Loon and Bone were kind of the two that I used to throw all the time. I've kind of expanded into different colors over the years. Here's another Whopper Plopper style bait. Don't know much about this one. This is a Japanese version. Lux Avenge Prop 80. This is a black color. It's in Japanese, so I don't know what they call it. It's all black and then has a little bit of orange on the belly. Another I Know It Whopper Plopper. Sexy Shad. Here's a walking style bait by Shimano. I think it's called the Colt Sniper Walk. The color is silver PS. Got a little pinkish on the top. Very flashy. White on the belly. A little chartreuse gold on that gill. The Spook style walking baits. This is the Hedden Super Spook. How about that color? Super bright chartreuse. Here's a Super Spook Junior. This is color is called Wounded Shad. Much smaller. The KVD Sexy Dog is a great walking plug. Top water bait. That color Sexy Shad. Chartreuse Shad they call it. The old Head and One Knocker Spook is also a great bait. Excellent bait. This color in particular here is called Pearl Shad and this is a uh, a color that um, Jason Christie throws a lot. I think he won a tournament on this, but I'm not positive. Monster Bass got in the spook game uh, a few years ago. They call it the Patriot. Okay, this is a spook style bait with a popping cup. Let me take this one out. It's a Japanese bait by Yamoto, by OSP. I guess it's called the Yamoto by OSP Lures. They make a lot of cool stuff. This color is called Pearl Chartreuse Back, and it's actually called the Yamoto Junior. OSP is a Japanese lure maker, and uh, kind of a cool color. Let's see what it sounds like. It's silent. Well, is it silent? Pretty much, yeah. It's got these BBs in it, though, that must be for cast castability, not sound. And then it has like this keel underneath, which is interesting. And look, it has two line ties. And that is so that you can have a different action in the water. So probably a very pricey lure. Guarantee you it is. Here's another black and blue sprinkler frog. Here's another sexy dog. Another Jason Christie one knocker. Here's a lemon lime sprinkler frog. Nice color. All right, here's a, a lure that I got in a mystery tackle box by Weston Lures called the Spot On. Uh, when I first got this, I thought, oh great, I don't, I'm not a big fan of Weston Lures, but this little guy walks great, and I've caught a ton of fish on this, so I've got about five of these now. Uh, I really like this little top water plug and this color is called floating ghost hunter it's a good little bait if you can get your hands on it might be able to find it over at carl's i'm not sure here's another good little top water bait the pencil by yozuri very nice lure this one's called prism chartreuse the color Red eyes. Here's another one of those Weston spot-ons, I told you. Here's a Bone Spook Junior, Super Spook Junior. Like that red on the gill. Here's one I don't care about, uh, the Ducket 110 Super Sound in Bone. I got this out of a monthly tackle box as well. The one that uh, Mr. that uh, 
Major League Fishing used to do. I don't think they do it anymore. But their monthly tackle box, that's where that came from. I've never bought a ducket lure on purpose. This is a cool bait by Six Cents Fishing, the Dogma 100. And this is kind of like a pearl bone. Ghost Spanish Pearl. Their color, they're, they're, I mean, they are just great. Whoever's in charge of their paint. Look at the color on this little beauty. Man, I, I, I don't know if on video you can see all the subtleties, but this is, this is like a, a very nice pearlescent why i mean it's just got so many subtleties to it that are going to make it look lifelike in the water that's a great lure a couple of more prop baits these lux avenge baits again they don't tell me the color but you know that's kind of green and chartreuse this has a lot of gold some orange black back this is an interesting bait, Patrick Sabil designed, Band of Anglers. Uh, there's so many different companies out there that he's kind of part of. But this is the Twitcher, the sinking Twitcher bait. It's rubbery. It's, it's, it's not a plastic bait. It's a rubbery bait. And uh, interesting eyes with the E on there. And then it has... Some beefy troubles. The Engage Twitcher. Here's a great lure as well. The Cane Walker by Berkeley. This is uh, their bone color. Just a very, very great bait. The Six Cent Swank 77X. This color is Gold Reactor. Got that L-shaped bill. It's more of a wake bait or a shallow crankbait. There's another pompadour, but this is the junior size. And this color is called RT Chartreuse Gill by Jackal. Cool bait. Here is the Nasheen Lure Works Albino 110F. This is kind of a crazy bait. It's better if you kind of look at the picture on the back, what this thing does. It's got a prop here in the front, a prop in the back. It's got like a flashing blade below. It's not a Colorado blade. You can see it there, but it's kind of Colorado-ish. And it has a spare blade for you. It also has, it's hard to see here, but that's a weight that uh, you could attach onto it if you want it to sink more it's the customizable topwater bait there's another super spook junior i think that's baby bass yep that's baby bass okay my buddy joe got me into these little prop style baits from h2o express which is the academy sports brand these are called the slush daddy and this is a topwater prop bait that makes a ton of ruckus in the water. And, uh, man, they, th these baits work great, especially around the spawn. If you can get this over the tops of beds, these, these little slush daddies are, are money. Here's another one of those Mega Bass Batra X. You might be able to see the cup a little better there. Crazy color, this kind of white and pink. We call the color white peach. What the heck, I'll take it out. Look at that crazy thing. Like I said, it's got this big plastic cup on there. It's soft, like a hollow-bodied frog, but you can see it's small. It's got frog hooks, two frog hooks. Then it's got this teckle sprinker frog tail, but... The tail has two hooks as well. Crazy little bait. Alright, this is an old school topwater bait that my buddy Joe got me into as well. And it at certain times, this thing works great. This is by Head and Lures. It's called the Spittin' Image. 
This has purple. It's got some flashy scales. I think this is called Tennessee Shad. Yeah, Tennessee Shad. The head and spitting image. All right, then I've got uh, a few Mega Bass Pop Max poppers. Great popping topwater bait. Most of you guys probably know all about the Pop Max. Just a fantastic lure. This color is called Hot Chartreuse Bone. And when they say bone, they're talking about this bone pattern there on the side. This one is called Aurora Signal Chartreuse. This one's really sick. I'm going to take it out of the package. It's called Burst Sand Snake. Look at that crackle pattern on this bad boy. That is a cool looking pattern. Burst Sand Snake. Pop Max is a legit popper. Okay, now the rest of the baits in this top water box are frogs, hollow body frogs. Got a couple of Z-Man Leap Frogs. White Knight is the white one here. And this one's called Brown Leopard. Here's another White Knight. Here's a few Six Cents Vega Frogs. Got these uh, from my Super Six Sacks as well. This is Ivory White. Baby Bullfrog. And Black. Good frog. I have heard uh, some guys have a little problem with hookups on this. All you got to do is bend the hooks up a little. Here's a Hendrix Fishing Voodoo Frog. It's like a blue and silver color. This Molex Sneaky Frog is a little different. It's very big. My buddy Steve Chapman over at Get Your Fish On sent me this, if I remember right. He says it's an awesome frog. Guggen Filthy Frog. Two and a half inches long, five eighths of an ounce. This color I really like. Bullfrog. Here's the all-time winningest frog ever on the Pro Elites. The Spro Bronze Eye Frog. This one here is called Natural Red, which is mostly brown. There's a little red on the belly. This one's called Amazon. That sucker is colorful. Here's one of my go-to all-time favorite frogs. The Live Target Coppers Frog. Brown black is the color for both of these. Super realistic looking and they got great hooks, great components. The fish love them. Another one of my favorite frog companies is Snag Proof. And this Bobby's Perfect Frog is pretty darn perfect. It really, really is. When you get this thing out of the package, compared to a lot of these frogs, like that Copper's Live Target I just showed you, it looks so fake. You just say, how in the world are the fish going to love that? But I'm telling you, they're great, great frogs. This Bobby's Perfect Frog is just great. Love the scum frogs as well. These are little popping frogs. The trophy series. Check out the paint jobs on the on these guy little guys. That color is called totally cool. And this is a solid black that they call New Moon. These are small frogs. More of a finesse style popping frog. Okay, here is how I got my famous frog fur. Whenever you hear me use the word frog fur, I'm usually talking about something that is going to catch the fishermen and probably not fish. And the funny thing about these Boom Boom Stanford frogs, they're actually good frogs, but they have this Velcro patch 
on the back that they call frog fur that's supposed to grip the fish's mouth and maybe it does grip a little bit better but to me i just thought that was hilarious so if i say it's frog fur i say that means i think it's fake but there you go here's a tiny lunker hunt lunker frog these are very realistic as well And then here's a Berkeley Power Pop, which I think is a fairly new frog. I just bought it this year. And I have not tried the Power Pop, so I can't tell you much about it. That's it. I do have one last thing in the bottom of the box that's not a frog. I didn't, didn't know it was in there. The Six Cents Splashback 70 Popper. A lot of reflection off that. Hopefully you can see it. Never been too crazy about the splashback popper, to tell you the truth. But I do love this color. It's called Black Magic from Six Cents Lures. That does it. That's my top water box. It's empty. And this was a long video because there was a lot of stuff in there. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope it was, hopefully it was informative. And you had a good time. If so, please share the video, smash that like button, subscribe to the channel. I would greatly appreciate it. And stay tuned for more. I got a lot more boxes. And I got more over here and more down here that I'll be unboxing. I hope you enjoy this. Thanks again. And until next time, this is Mr. Bass. Happy fishing!